Watch out. It's Peter Griffin. Uh, you're about to watch a really funny and really cool conversation. The only problem is that there is a guy called Tony. And Tony hates family guy. What the hell? All right, Peter, that's some bone chilling evidence that you've just presented out. But before we go on a witch hunt, I was I wa talking to Tony in a YouTube comment section. Oh, really? He said to me personally that he hates Family Guy. What? He said Family Guy is boring. No! Tony said that Family Guy lacks emotional storytelling. And then he said that the characters betray their established values and beliefs in favor of a cheap joke or a lazy plot progress. Okay, well, Peter. That's some really devastating news that you just told me because I was going to talk to Tony right now. But now, oh, and now he's messed with my screen. My screen's gone all haywire. Well, uh, listen, Tony, uh, my friend Peter there, he says you don't like Family Guy. So uh, what's the story? You okay there, buddy? Do you like Family Guy? Are you, are you asking me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really funny. My favorite character on is Peter, Lois, Brian, Meg, and Stewie. Oh! And I don't know if I mentioned Peter. He's also one of my favorites, and I'm also a fan of Lois. And I actually have drawn a lot of really very detailed pic, nude uh, pictures of all of them, too. If anyone wants to go to my site, that's kind of showing how it would happen. They don't show this on the show, but if they were to, say, copulate what, what it would look like. And they're very close up on sort of the various holes. So uh, anyways, if you haven't followed me, on YouTube, YouTube, Tony Zarrett, uh, you can check out some of that stuff. Okay, well, that's great news, uh, Peter. It actually turns out that uh, he loves Family Guy, and it's his main inspiration. So, uh, unfortunately, that means Tony doesn't go to jail, and that means that, uh, Peter, you have to get cast by the hand of Satan and uh, go down to hell. All right. Okay. Well, uh, that's just a little intro bit, uh... We we can just we can just move on now. Uh, so how are how are you doing? Oh yeah, I'm doing great. Like I said, I was so excited uh, when I found out that I was going to be on a podcast with a Family Guy fan because, I, as I sort of mentioned, Family Guy is really my my passion. And it's interesting. Most people that like Family Guy they watch the show. I've never seen the show. I just have only seen drawings of them on uh, a site called DeviantArt, and that's really what got me into Family Guy. So I, once I heard about that these these sort of gorgeous characters existed, I really got into the, to drawing them in various states of undress. And uh, I would love to watch the show at some point, but I just don't have a bandwidth but for also, it with all the fan don't, art. Don't drawing, forget, yeah. don't forget the great music that comes with Family Guy. Uh, so again, like I said, again, I wouldn't know because I again I only know that the. the um, the nude fan art, but I I'm sure there's got to be some okay, great songs. Okay, so li listen to this for a sec. Just check out the bass. You hear that? Oh yeah, that's yeah, that slaps. Yeah, it slaps exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this is a banger, and it slaps. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, I, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, uh, you actually you play guitar, right? Oh yeah, I love to play the uh, guitar. Um, uh, I've 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 seen it. I've seen it in uh just hanging around. Yeah, yeah, videos. yeah, I love to play guitar. I love to play guitar because it uh, reminds me of back when music was good. You know, now everything is this mumble crud stuff. But uh, back in the day, you know, songs used to have guitars in them and musicians had talent. So I, I pull it out whenever. If a mumble rapper comes to my house, I say, have a seat. I'm going to teach you about real music. And I play them some Slipknot riffs. <laughs> um, I actually, I think I, I, uh, what would you call it? I'm placing my bets that that you do genuinely love new metal uh, for two yeah, reasons. Well, One is because well, actually, my my old job um, was a new metal uh, writer for a uh, a site called uh, Cyberpop. So I, I was a huge fan of new metal, and that's when I that's really the main music I've heard. As I said, I haven't heard this Family Guy music. I've o I've only heard new metal, but. Uh, uh, I'm planning on exploring other genres maybe this year, like rap metal or funk metal. I have I have heard you reference it, and I think it's uh, it's funny that I don't think it's died a death. This okay, fuck's sake, my fucking I don't know why my camera is doing this. Everybody, um, I can't control it. It's 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 out of my control. Uh, so sometimes I'll just I'll be small, like the small dude is. Um, but I think uh. New metal gets lumped in like dubstep sometimes as a genre that like quote unquote died um, simply for the fact that both of them aren't 
as prominent, but um, I I still I still love new metal and it has like a huge audience. I don't know why they genuinely don't have new new metal bands anymore. Well, trust me, when the new Mudvayne album comes out, believe me, new metal is gonna be bad. Oh yeah, because we're we're, we're our, us fans know that that's gonna turn things around for the genre. Well, even even the the new metal bands that are still uh, touring still sell out like crazy. Um, System of a Down came to Budapest. I think it was like that was the only country that they came to uh, in Europe, and tickets were 120 euro. And it was it was fine. They sold out in like two seconds. Back it, back it, back it, back it, back it, back it. Remember that one? Oh yeah. Why is it? Those are the actual lyrics. It might have sounded like I was just kind of saying stuff in place of the lyrics, but I I went on Lyric Genius and those are the lyrics. Dip it. So that's the one where they tell you what the lyrics mean, right? Yeah, it so, goes. Do you know what dibbit, 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 dibbit means? Is there a political ban? That's like a political thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically saying that the uh, system is trying to make everybody into a conformist. It's trying to make so, everybody down. Yeah, the system of a down. And then the, it's kind of the reason that they're called system of a down is an ironic nickname. I, if you remember, there was a rapper called Biggie, and he was a Small. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Smalls. You would love this being the small dude. Yeah. He was huge, and the system of a down is the same thing. There's this. They they're against the system pulling you down, and they want them to want you to go up. But I mean, anyone could tell that from listening to the lyrics. And that's what radicalized all those guys, wasn't it? In uh, in Waco. No, in the guys in System of a Down were radicalized by their own by their own music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, they, yeah. they, they, they were before they were basically normies. Yeah. And then they heard their own song, and they were like, "Time." Because before that, they were before they were called System of a Down. They were just called, "We Love the System." Yeah. That was the original band name. Then they made their own music and were inspired to be against the it, system. It's actually it's actually very similar to Rage Against the Machine when they were like they were for the machine. They were all for the machine. But yeah, then they, they made the band. Card, they were just called The Machine. Yeah. The first album. It's hard to find because they've had it, tried to scrub it from the Wayback Machine. But I have a physical copy on a VHS audio. Well, it's a actually, format I invented. Speaking of, uh, speaking of scrubbing things from the internet, you're a man with a very small digital footprint, aren't you? Yeah, I really only have accounts on Instagram tumblr twitter youtube um google plus orkut friendster uh, myspace and google minus oh so i still i have an account that was it started the same time as google plus but it's even better you're you're one of I those guys you're one of those anti-friend book guys who's like yeah i'm not gonna get on friend book i know everybody's no. on it i'm on every other platform but i'm holding out well, I don't use Friend because of the data. They mine your data. Because it happened to me, I was on a site called Friend, Friend Face Friend, and they took my data and they sold it to McDonald's. And now everywhere I go, I see McDonald's as restaurants, which I'm sure they're putting them in my kind of walking path because they got my data. So yeah. I, I've been a little nervous about some of these sites. Well, it's actually, um, I, I had a friend who that happened to, but whenever he went into the McDonald's, so the thing is, when you see the McDonald's, you have to go into it. It's kind of like being in a lucid dream. So you walk into the McDonald's, but yeah. then it all just crumbles. And it turns out oh. that, that you're logged into, into Face Friend the whole time. And then you just have yeah. to navigate through the settings. and, and Yeah, this is AR. This is what's known as du double. Uh, this is known as um, live AR. And the McDonald's Corporation does that to make you think. There's actually only one McDonald's restaurant in the entire world. Um, it's in uh, uh, Chicago, and there, every other McDonald's you see is a sort of AR illusion. Yeah. But I tell you what's not illusion: the great taste of the Big Mac. And oh, I, yeah. I, I, I know I'm, I don't know. This is a I'm doing a sponsor here, and I don't know. I, I probably should have told you ahead of time, but I'm going to be doing some plugs. Oh yeah, that's fine. For sponsors on spec, and hope that. They see this and they pay me after. As, as long as you just throw in a little word about Pawtucket Patriot Ale. If you could just yeah. like sneak that in at the end, like, hey, Pawtucket. check out McDonald's. You don't Patriot need to say oh, it I'm going to say it right now. Yeah. 
you got to drink Pawtucket Patriot Ale. And I, I just I should have told you before I said that that it, it costs twelve thousand U.S. for each time I shout out a product. So I'm going to be I will be sending you a. a um, oh, it cost me. It cost me money. Yes, it costs you. I don't. I don't know. Are is that your? Are you the CEO of Pawtucket Patriot Ale? Uh, no. So uh, I. I am. I'm just. I'm just a fan, actually. So I can well, give you the email address. You're gonna address. have to deal with them as far as the payment, but you owe me twelve U grand U S. I don't know how much that is in euros. Probably. Oh, well, well, this this probably isn't hundred billion. This isn't actually my stream. I just remembered. Uh, there's a different guy that's gonna come in. He's back there okay, now. Okay, well, he owes me 12 Yeah, yeah. Well, he's stacks. not going to come out now because he knows that he's got money on the line, so yeah. I'm going to have to finish out this show. But don't don't All worry, right. I'll get the word to him. He's he's okay. the same guy who had the, the McDonald's problem every time he, uh, yeah. he he tried to go on friend face, he'd go into McDonald's. He also tried to he tried to check out AOR. He ended up going to Eeyore. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, sorry. Oh. Do, do you want to take it? <laughs> is this, sorry, well, let me just... Is this appropriate oh. for live stream? <laughs> well, uh, I'm... Oh, no! He's, uh, he's muted the stream! All right, ladies and gentlemen, so while, while he's not listening, have a listen to this. Tony's epic moment. I've got some information on Tony. Some uh, private information, and uh, I'm gonna gonna reveal it. Okay. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I just got a phone call from the big chungus. You did. You didn't hear any of that. What I was saying, right? Yeah, you. I did. I mute. I muted my microphone, but, uh, not my earphones. I don't know if you're like an audio kind of whiz, but even when the microphone is muted, the earphones still have. Oh right, but you weren't paying attention though, right? Oh yeah, I was paying full attention. Oh, you were. <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh well, that was just a joke out. anyway. Uh, it was just you don't like your. You said you hate your audience or something like no, that. No, I, I no. Heard, oh, or no, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was what I said. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, All right. Sorry. Back at business. Sorry about that. Yeah. It was yeah. for those of you that follow me. I'm close friends with the, the famous Big Chungus. People think it's a meme or whatever, but we actually uh, call seven or eight times a day. And the, the Big Chungus was just calling me to ask if if he was still funny. And I said, Yeah, it's very oh, funny. Oh, he's still funny, they, but he's not funnier funny, than they expanded him out. If you see regular Bugs Bunny, he's a thin guy, then they he's, uh, expand him. Look it, it up. I, I can't remember. Is he less or more funny than Big Baby Bungus? Uh, I haven't been Big Baby track. Bungo is more is more funny. That's the most funny Oh, meme. right, right, that's right. Okay. It, then there's Big Chuggus. That's in, the, that's in the middle level of meme. And then, then right below them is Trollface. And those are the only memes I know. So Yeah, yeah, those yeah. Are the, Did, have, you ever yes. seen, have you ever seen the, the top text, bottom text? <laughs> yeah, yes. that's a good one. Well, you have you you've been around for a while now. You're yeah. You're doing this like f five years. Is that yeah? Right? About five years. I think I started my I started doing the memes. I will. I want to say around 2017 or 18. Yeah. But you've also said that like you were kind of out of the internet. Like it's it's not like yeah, something I was you've doing been following this whole time. Yeah, I was doing new metal, and then basically that they closed the new metal division of the company I was working for and I had to start doing internet content for 18 to 24 year olds and that's really when I had to catch up on everything all the memes and Big Chungus was, was blossoming at that time so I think that's why I have a soft spot but yeah that's what I caught up on all the sort of top, top keck and dank um, Pepe Frog memes but yeah I'm, now I'm completely up on it so don't worry do I'll you, uh, get all your references do you ever uh, do, you, do you watch TV you know television yeah, I used to I used to watch Total Request Live to check out all the new metal bands, but ever since they stopped replaced new metal with all this mumble rap, I haven't turned the TV on. Uh, yeah, well, I, I think um, the 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 memes you're you're looking at for for research for the intense yeah. research of your videos. Uh, see, I, I I find some of them funny. I, I find a, a lot of memes funny, but I'm not sure. I can never be truly sure. If I'm actually getting it, like sometimes I I get what people get about it, um, but when if it's like if it's a meme that's related to I don't know Call of Duty or whatever the kids are playing, uh, five yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's. Whatever happened to game? Whatever happened to playing Quake? 
if if they're referencing you can run around shooting at guys i don't know what happens in call of duty but in quake you could run around shooting at guys it's totally different and there's just five nights <laughs> five nights of freddy game where no, uh, this sounds like a one of these woke games have gone woke and that's why i've stopped playing them so I, I i will get the reference via meme but uh i've seen you i saw a comment from you on instagram i think uh, this week and it was such a like esoteric reference that you must be doing genuine research uh to to find out what this stuff means because uh, there's no way uh anyone who's you know not 13 years old uh can get some of this uh so do you like well, so you you take it. I I presume you take it as like a workman's kind of thing that uh, like you're you're not doing it for fun and for internet clout. Like you have a sense of motivation and I guess there's like an artistry in it that you feel uh, you must put some work in behind the scenes to just like get to make an a idea. meme. Um, more so for or... the YouTube videos because that's more oh, of a yeah. long form. Like it's it's. It's it's really it's a lot harder to to make a ten yeah. minute YouTube video than it is a reel. Yeah. Well, with the YouTube, I don't know what, what any of this. I have a Patreon uh, account, and basically, the people that sign up at one of the higher tiers, they send me things they want me to make videos about, and that's because oh, yeah. otherwise, there's no way I would know about. Um, what do they always want to see a video about? Uh, Homestuck. Have you heard of this? I, I've literally, I've heard of it just through reference, yeah. Yeah, so everyone's like, sends me things, make a video about Homestuck, make a video about, have you heard of um, Danganronpa? Um, no, actually, that, that one eludes me. Uh, some, kind of, some kind of anime where, or game, but <laughs> people kill each other. I, I didn't get too much details on that. And then there's another yeah. one they always want me to talk about, Undertale. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, yeah. I always get sent, make a video about Undertale. So I've got like three videos about well, Undertale. I'm surprised because it seems like a lot of times, either through like sheer coincidence or accident or uh, intentionally, you will like hit the nail on the head of what the joke is supposed to be. But I'm surprised that there's not more people who are just like trying to make you say something you shouldn't say that would be too... That would be too outside the realm of possibility to understand why it's wrong, you know? Well, I people have to, I think with that is that, that they have to pay. So the people that really want you to sort of get yourself canceled are not going to bother ponying, you know, yeah, they're ponying up yeah, the money. Yeah. That's probably the, I mean, it, it's, it costs $20 to subscribe to the tier where you can tell me what to say. And I would assume that probably the 12, 13 year olds that, want me to say something really bad that that they don't have yeah, they're they're priced out of the game cash. yeah yeah, so yeah i think that's part of the issue yeah okay yeah and well do you have like a, a sense of cynicism about the internet because i i've i've had like a great experience with this channel i i've not really had uh anything that makes me not want to to make a video or not want to log on or whatever but um I, I'm I'm still very cynical. I'm expecting that to change any day. Yeah, well, I just uh, I just expected to get like banned and stuff. Uh, I, I'm expecting just to get everything because I'm probably yeah. one of the few people online kind of calling out the woke agenda. And I assume I'm going to get kicked off of every platform for because most people are afraid to say, oh, I don't like woke stuff. Not me. I'm the only person. The only every one. other post on the Internet is like, I love it when things are woke. Mm. I'm the only one going, hey. You know what are we, let's get let's stop being woke so i'm sure i'll get banned from everything and then i won't like the internet because i won't be able to post on it yeah It'll only be able to read other people's posts well then you can actually I go, hate I, I hate reading other people's posts you can actually go on rumble then which is it's kind of like the bonus level of of internet creation oh. where if you actually if you actually combat the woke industry hard enough you actually get to this like next plane of existence which is called oh, rumble, rumble. And it's it's essentially a content creator's paradise, but you have to get cancelled to go there, unfortunately. Oh, to go there. I've loved, yeah, well, I've been cancelled numerous times. I got cancelled for my meme I created called Bajuki Land, and I cancelled myself mm. because I, I for, for doing that. I made a call out video. You can see it on my channel. I called myself out for making this meme, making fun of this country. Yeah, but it's, it's like the. Um, 
It's like the Miranda rights, you know, you you can't do it to yourself because you need a professional to read them for you. Oh. So it's like if you arrest yourself and you read your own Miranda rights, if you mess up one word, then it's just totally null and void. You, you have to walk free. So I think oh. canceling yourself is the same thing. It's like if you oh, it doesn't count. if you don't say it just the right way that it's supposed to be worded, then unfortunately you have to keep making content for the internet. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that, good. Cause good. Because I canceled myself but I, and I continued to make content. So to be honest, it was just a, I just thought it would be a funny thumbnail and the whole thing was fake. Oh, Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously I'm still on line and but oh. i would love to get on what's it called rumble rumble yeah yeah uh yeah. but, but sounds yeah. like it's like a gab with an attitude <laughs> with, a, with a real mean streak people yeah. are real mean on there they get they get on they can say whatever they want and yeah. all they want to say is insults you're yeah, i can't believe even say me, it. i know i've i've been on kiwi farms you heard of this uh, i don't know that's you have to get on the deep web for that kind of stuff yeah i hacked into it through my friend neo from the Matrix helped me hack on to Kiwi Farms. Yeah, he knows how to get into the mainframe. I literally, I'm not even kidding you. I went on the site, Kiwi Farms. They're typing the F word out. All four letters. No star asterisk. Not the entire like F word. F asterisk asterisk? No, 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 no asterisks. I don't, oh, just F. I, I don't want to get you bad, but the, the actual word, the four, oh, the full, all four letters. Oh, okay. Fully typed out. Wow. On there. I, I wouldn't recommend anyone go out there, but so I've been you mean on some like of the, most the word for, there for are, when they're out there for when someone I eats funny. too much food and their body gets a little bit larger than is is probably no 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 healthy. that's you're thinking of F, you're thinking of the three letter word I'm talking about four letter F word I saw this on a couple sites this, but this is the, the deep, one you have to go where the deep web most of the regular web you they don't like they don't let you post that you're word. talking about the one where it's like a bundle of sticks where they used to b burn no no, no it's a four people. letter word I, I, i'm gonna dm you offline I, okay I mean, I, yeah. we're gonna have some kind of edgy people in the audience but it's a four letter word and it, it is a really bad one and it, it's a it reference to the act of uh, copulation oh. i can't go into detail and obviously again i'm not trying to get your stream delisted yeah. from rumble well see you but. should you should probably say c asterisk 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 ion that... oh, so instead of cancellation yeah no no instead Oops. of the, the the you know for the, what you were saying there a second oh, ago. oh that yes yeah sorry um but it's fine it's fine um, yeah anyway i mean the most dif the most difficult part about making things on the internet is just trying not to say bold words is pretty much all you got to do and just let the money True. roll right in yeah that and uh trying not to succumb to the woke agenda yeah yeah no, really don't hard. worry this thing's like fort knox nothing gets in or yeah, out yeah i don't know not me it's like fort knox when uh they let yeah. that's what they let people into the prison but then they closed the prison but then they didn't let anyone out so they just like there's just a prison full of the same prisoners, it's kind of like Big Brother, and then they put in live stream cameras. Fort and they Knox. I think Fort them. Knox is where they keep all the gold. Oh, but let's just. This is not. Why would you care about that? I'm sure Ireland has its own fort. Yeah, yeah, it's it's Fort, fort Onox actually. Okay, yeah, yeah. makes sense. I uh, actually about about the workman's kind of thing. Uh, yeah. The workman's ethic. Uh, you do a YouTube video every week, right? More like I would say every week and a half. But like so. it's it's pretty consistent. I don't yes. think it ever really gets out outside two weeks, right? No, no, yeah, two weeks usually the most I go. And yeah. then, uh, so they're like ten minute plus YouTube videos, and then there's like Instagram Reels, TikTok, or you post the same thing. Yeah, I post. I probably do one or two like uh, short like TikTok videos a week, most weeks. Yeah, it's... but those don't don't take too long to do. Yeah, I try not to yeah. put any effort into them. Well, and it keeps the amount of time it takes pretty low. That's that's the thing is that I find it hard, or at least I, I like to put a lot of work into the edited videos and to the point where it, it's, it can't be done in a week. But yeah. I know that if I cook corners in certain places, I definitely could. But I have yeah. to say, like it, it looks so much easier to make a video every week than it really is like it genuinely is oh yeah at least for me especially like, to make a good well to make line. a good video 
Well, that's really easy. Thing. That's why I can crank out these uh, TikTok videos two, three a week. They're not, they're not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? It's just, you know, I just put no effort. I basically, I just type it up and then I turn the thing on. But the other ones, it does take a long time. And it, yeah, it, I don't think I can, what you can make a good 10 minute video in one week. It's just not, it's not possible unless you have a staff of people. Well, there's also the not thing that, uh, I, I just, I, I find it hard to like get my mind outside of a certain way of thinking. So if I'm working on a YouTube video, I find it so hard to step away from that and then start making uh, what a real, I suppose the thing is I, I should probably just turn on a camera and find a funny filter and literally just yeah. do it in two minutes. Just do a, tr just do a, just lip sync a trending audio and then make the caption something like, when your mom, here's what you do. You put a, <laughs> it says like, mom asked me to do homework. And then you find a trending audio of someone saying, no, I, I, oh, I ain't gonna do that. And you just lip sync that. And you'll get, a, you'll be the top Instagram reels creator in a day. I, I should, I, I, like I should that. genuinely do that. That is genuine advice, but I just, I delete yeah. videos. Like I, I'm all about the catalog. I, I want there to be a, a catalog of like yeah, consistently good, good videos. Well, you're never going to be as popular as Lele Pons, if I that's know. your plan. Do you know who this is? I, I know it because I know that that's your source of inspiration. That was Yeah, your... yeah. Unfortunately, she hasn't, she'd made so much money that she hasn't been posting enough of her comedy skits the last four years. Is she still but alive? she still does occasionally post a comedy skit. Usually it's more just like she kind of bends over and sort of shows her, again, another word I can't say, but yeah, the before, asterisk, more, there was some more comedy in it yeah yeah does she um is she still alive does she still make videos yeah yeah i, I follow her on instagram every i would say every month she'll like kind of do a video or i just saw i had she hadn't posted well she's posting something today it was some looked like a, maybe a scam but it was like <laughs> comment crypto 72 on uh, my last 10 posts to win something win a louis vuitton bag or so but she's still out there she's still posting and I'm one of the greatest kind of comedic voices of the social media era. And hopefully she gets back to posting comedy sketches about cheating on your boyfriend every day like she did back in 2018. Hey, do, do you think it's still going to be relevant? Do you think people are going to get that? Yeah, now? that's the great thing about her Huber is that it was very fresh and funny in 2018 to get caught 30 or 40 times uh, cheating on your boyfriend in a comedy skit. And it's only gotten more kind of fresh and funny uh, over the years. It's evergreen. It's something that everyone does. Yeah. And it's something the stuff. next generation we can hand down to the next, we can hand that down to our children and our children's children and say, yeah. uh, there was a great woman once. And she, she started this whole idea. <laughs> I'll be struggling to get through the conversation without laughing my A word off. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to be yeah. careful with the censorship on this one. But I, you know, you're, I don't know if your audience is familiar with this content, but I would go back, look up Lele Pond's funny vine, um, funny vines. It's great. Cause she do stuff like, um, she's like making out with a guy and she goes, Oh, this is so wonderful. And then another guy opens the door. These are hot guys. And the guy opens the door saying, babe, what are you doing? And then she'll go, uh, uh, this is actually my, uh, accountant. And then it was the Vine era that was, you you would be laughing. How did she come seconds. up with this stuff? Where did yeah, she get her ideas from? Well, I assume she probably minds the works of Chekhov, Shakespeare, some of the great. She was, she was probably of out of her mind on heroin when she came up with that one, I would say. Just like any only, great artist. Uh, the only drug uh, Lele Pods takes is good old fashioned American uh, methamphetamines. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot she's American then. Yeah, for some yeah. reason, I thought she was Bosnian and she was into the the big H, oh. but of course well, she's, she's American. Uh, she she's, does her mom is Venezuelan. I mean, I really dug deep into her home. Oh. Oh, well, it looks like it's time for Tony's epic live stream moment. Oh, great. Should I have a fail of some kind? Uh, yeah, it's up. It's up to you. Uh, I just I just thought I'd spring that ah, on you hit there. Ah, the face. No. Yeah, fail. yeah. Uh, to to he play. mutilated himself on camera for your entertainment, people. Put that in the caption, mutilate. Th this is this is uh, just as 
Funny as the time, a homeless prophet last week had his funny story. I was having dinner at my parents' house in Michigan. They have a family dish called a hot pepper, which is a, it's a bell pepper stuffed with cheese and caramel. It actually wasn't bad. And my dad played theremin afterwards. Yeah, so that, it's actually because my parents are from uh, Bajuki land and hot pepper uh, is a very common dish there. Um, in, in Bajuki land, it's called Bajoingo Gong 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 and but uh, it translates to hot pepper and yet yeah, it is have cheese and caramel and you know I, growing up i didn't like it i didn't really appreciate bajucanese food i think because i was trying to fit in with them you know eat mcdonald's and stuff like that but I, I do like it now and uh so my dad was actually the lead theremin player of the bajuki land symphony uh before he came here but he couldn't there's just no money in, in theremin here so he had to be had to become a um piccolo manufacturer well that's very interesting tony uh, mm -hmm. i uh, i am a, a clinical psychologist a lot of people don't know that uh, i've got a master's degree in clinical psychology and what you've just done there is taken a totally irrelevant clip that meant nothing and for some reason made it all about you and applied it to your own life that's because i'm a, a um What's the term for that? I've got pick, I'm a pick me. What's the thing? You, you've you got a sick mind. I've got main, no. Main, you've got I a sick mind. Character. I have main character syndrome. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I also, and I also have uh, ulcerative colitis. You have and what? main character syndrome. Ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative? Be, ulcerative colitis, a bleeding out of the, um, one of the ends of the body. Not one we could talk about. Oh, I so thought those... that was gonna be like some funny thing where you do like, you start sleepwalking like Alzheimer's or something, but this is like a a, a bloody mess. It is funny. Kind of... No, it's very funny. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Because it involves the toilet, which is part of the one of the funniest <laughs> kind of holes in the house. The toilet. I mean, if you think the sink is funny, take a look at the toilet. You're going to be cracking up. Yeah. When you find out what people do with that thing. Oh, you should see. Uh, there's Believe this... me, it's, the toilet humor makes Lele Pond's humor look like an episode of American Dad. There's actually a really funny, uh, these guys did a really funny uh, joke about the shower. Um, you should check it out at lemonparty.org. Have you seen it? Yeah, I'm the, uh, I'm the admin of that site. Oh, it's really? It's supposed to be funny, but thank you for saying it was funny. It was created as a very serious sort of document of, of what a lemon party would be like and but I mean, if people are laughing at it, I guess there's nothing. Oh I can well, do. this is one of those like German things where like German people think it's funny, but then no, German people think it's not funny. But then everyone's like, "Oh, ha, Germany!" They think it's erotic. Yeah, the yeah. Germans but... are very twisted. They don't. They're not into normal stuff. Like no. you know, us for us, what's erotic? Nude drawings of Lois, Lois Griffin. Yeah. You know, but for Germans, I mean, all bets are off. I mean, they're into weird stuff. Have you ever like seen the Lois nun Griffin and the with priest? her clothes on and just really weird stuff? Have you have you ever seen all those? Uh, I'm sure you have, but I, I saw these when I was what like 12 or something. So uh, I can't imagine this from an adult perspective. You know, generally those those horrifically uh, traumatizing internet videos that everyone was obsessed with for like a very brief period. But two two girls, uh, one two cup? girls, one cup. There was like one priest, one I... nun, one man, one jar. Yeah. But what what was that like from your perspective? I I loved it. I, I loved, loved it, that video. Was that is that funny for all ages? Two two girls one cup. Oh, yeah, is, it's is, very it funny. Funny? is it funny? Is it funny? I was one when it came out, and I was I was laughing. I do ever understood what was going on, and I just laughed and laughed. And you know now, it's when did that come out? Now now I'm 17, and I still think it's funny. Oh, okay. So, well, you're just one of those quirky, weird guys who likes yeah. Undertale and I like weird stuff, like quirky stuff, like Undertale, Homestuck, Danganronpa, and Lemon Party. Those are my top four intellectual properties that I enjoy. I like to think that one day in another five years, on your ten year anniversary, you'll look back on how far you've come and how much how much you've learned. Simply. Yeah through the process of trying to make funny videos. How much knowledge have, is in there? I have learned a lot. I learned about Homestuck. I learned about Undertale. I learned about Danganronpa. So I have learned a lot of useful stuff that now when I'm sort of hanging out with other adults, I can talk about it. If I show, you know, even if I'm like, a, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, you go to like uh, get your hair cut, you know, you got some guy 60 years old. I go, hey, 
Can you believe how quirky the humor is in Homestuck? And he'll be like, yep. Yeah. It's like Undertale, but a, but even funnier. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, again, with the clinical psychology, it's interesting about that story that you, uh, not so much of a coincidence bringing up talking to the barber because it does seem to me that you have an obsessive compulsion for getting your hair cut. Now, I don't want to, don't want to be rude bringing up. Well, I just want to be clear, by the way, the way the light is, I have a, a lot of hair, but I did get my hair cut um, two days ago. It's just a sh- shorn, close shorn cut. It's, it's shorn. Ball. Yeah, it's shorn, very close. But I wouldn't say I, have a, I get a haircut to probably the normal, normal the amount. The normal amount. How, how much is normal? I would say every three, four hours. Yeah. See, yeah, that's I'm the not problem. Like one of these OCD psychos. Oh, every ten minutes, cut my hair, cut my hair. See, that's that's I mean? not that's not quite normal. Like a lot of people will trim. Well, maybe will trim Ireland, every day. Trust me here. Or they might like keep bit of upkeep in the mornings and at night and try and just keep yeah. it at the exact same length every day. Well, but at three or four in, hours. In Bajukanese culture, where my parents are from, having uh, long hair is considered a very bad luck. So, for a Bajuki lander, getting your hair cut every four hours is actually again a, a not that much well and i've had incredible luck ever ever since i started you know since i didn't let my hair grow out i've had incredible luck and you know that's why i have so many followers on tumblr one thing about your videos is that uh see you you de- i i know you have like a background in stand-up comedy i don't know to what extent yeah. you... actually if you're anyone's watching i'm hosting a, a show tonight uh you can look at on my instagram uh account it's on uh, in coney island uh you can come and see me out there so do you still do stand up because you've you've scrubbed yeah. you've scrubbed the video evidence uh from youtube at least from, from yeah what I've seen. well i don't really have stand-up clips up but i mean i think i have some on my patreon but i would rather people i should probably put a lot of stand-ups post a lot of clips but i want people just to kind of wonder what it's going to be about and then yeah, come out yeah. to the shows instead of knowing what the jokes are already but I have some clips on my Patreon if people... I'm sure your listeners are very well off. They could easily afford... Yeah, yeah. Pay, we've, but... got, we've got one specific guy who basically pays for everybody. Big money oh, okay. hacker. He's, well, he's, get he's this guy to pay for everybody else to sign up. Patreon.com yeah. slash Tony Sarton. There's stand-up clips. Or you can come see me tonight at Coney Island. It's $20. But there's other acts. It's not just me. There's music bands. Music the band bands. called The Admiral. Yeah. So how, how do you balance the stand-up and videos because I, I can imagine that the videos take up uh, the majority of the week the videos take a lot of time but stand-up is just um at night it doesn't happen during the day so but i just go and do that in at night and then i like kind of if i think of jokes for that kind of on the way there oh because i was gonna say the, um like or my... just repeat the same ones because it's different people like a video once the video's out there, you can't just post the same video again. But with stand-up, you can do the same thing over and over and sure, over. Yeah. Um, well, you don't have to be as creative. My my background is in music. That was my yeah. that was that was that's what I'm an expert in as well as clinical psychology and interior design. Yeah. But I I can't balance both, and I, I tried for some yeah. time. And I like if if my mind is in is in one place, I I just can't split it between the two especially if like i mean music's like a very sincere art form um unless you're weird al yankovic so uh (laughs) i had an idea for a weird al song i'm not trying to like throw you throw you off but i I came up with this the other day okay okay this was an old song remember the song ice ice baby too cold you remember that vanilla ice of course yes vanilla ice i came up with this i don't know if anyone if weird al is watching listen to this (laughs) Ice, ice, water, too cold. And it can be about when you drink ice, wa- ice water, and it's too cold. I think it's a great, a perfect thing for this for Weird Al, but I can't yeah. get a hold of the guy. It's funny because I, no, I can't do it. People think I'm ripping him him off. Well, by by itself, it's not the best parody idea ever. Uh, but for, I disagree. It's but, very good. But for Weird but, Al Yankovic, it's it's perfect. That's what he does. That's funny. his whole thing. And I'm yeah, surprised he's very he hasn't funny done because. That. He, he takes hit songs and he changes the lyrics to be about, like, different foods. Which, weirdly, like, in itself, I don't think parody music is the highest art form. But there's something about the fact that Weird Al has committed to it for so long that it actually makes it yeah. endearing. Um, I think it's because people start listening to it 
when they're very young. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. they've heard it. They've heard his jokes already. So by the time that they can afford to go to his concerts, they they think I laughed at this when I was eight. It must. It's probably still funny. This element of surprise is just gone, and I think that's why he's been able to really stretch well, out the thing of he, changing the words. He does have about, a, he does have very uh, eclectic live shows. I don't know if you've ever seen a clip from what he does. No, I I hear it's a great show. I hear he does everything from his song parodies uh, with his band to his song parodies where he plays the accordion. So it has a little bit of everything. Well, he also has uh, some very creative little gimmicks. Like um, a friend of mine went to a gig in Dublin. And he had this whole bit where there was a camera outside the venue and it was it was like him talking to people on the street, like as the show was starting and the camera follows Whoa. him in on stage and there's a narrative which follows whatever he's doing on the street Whoa. is like pertinent to the start of the show. And yeah. I, I don't know why, I feel like I want to hate Weird Al just because it could so easily be very annoying very quick. But just stuff like that, he clearly is overqualified for for making parody songs he has much more skill yeah he's just, he's definitely overqualified as far as his like skill level and he's probably properly qualified as far as his humor level so it's it's great and that's why we that's why we love him uh, a lot of people in your audience are fascinated by the idea of you never breaking character um well they should watch my new video. I did break character. Unfortunately, it was at gunpoint, but they could sort of see, well, see what, it happening. What I think is funny about that is that uh, <coughs> I don't think <coughs> I don't think they really think about what the circumstance of you breaking character would be. Like, what what motivation would you have to make a video on your channel and be like, "Hey guys, like I'm not I'm not joking. Like this is seriously me." I've got yeah, something I, will... I want to talk about that's serious. I can't, ima yeah, I I can't if, imagine uh, what that would be. If Biden gets reelected, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go full serious because we got to get this crook out of office. Him <laughs> and his whole family are in deep with the mafia and uh, the Bilderberg group. But so if he gets elected again, I will drop the facade because we gotta we gotta get this we gotta get this guy out. He's a puppet. I also of, uh, woke aliens. I also like the idea that like there's one thing that you are genuinely so passionate about in real life that you're like, listen, I've got an audience of 18 to 24 year old males that I can speak to and do my bidding. I, I think that's a very e it, it is generally a very egotistical thing for um, I, I'm, I'm guilty of this to an extent as well of being sincere in order to get people to agree with you or to do something that you just want to be done in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Which I is kind of like, the premise of That's what these media. politicians are doing. They're out there trying to say a bunch of sincere stuff so people stop littering or whatever. I don't really follow politics, but yeah, you're not going to catch me doing that. It's a sucker's game. Hmm. What, what do yeah. you care about? What's something you care about? I would say Big Chungus. And uh, and then secondarily, big baby bungo. And then I care about um, uh, probably my son Bungaloge. Is that, are they, what are people? Are people in the chat? What are they? Are they questions <laughs> for me? Uh, okay, let's see. Um, someone says I love murder. <sighs> well, oh, no, says... hey, tell them uh, I'm I gotta I'm wanted for committing a war crime in Yugoslavia. You are. This is a joke. Not really, but it's a funny joke. I've read people type in like comment sections when like teenagers are allowed to comment on stuff. They'll oh, type stuff. So like the that, joke. Yeah. So I should say this to him. I should yeah, say yeah, that yeah. you are funny. wanted for a war crime. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's or really, should it's I say it I as if I am you? You could take. You could have the bit you, if you want to use it and say that you came up with it. I mean, everyone that's watching it will have heard that I just said it. But if you want to do an edit no. later and make it seem like you came up with that, well, I will tell them that I am you, right? Or yes, yes. you'll say I'm Tony Zan. However you want, but just trust me. Say I wanted for war crimes in Yugoslavia. It's, I've seen it so many times on Reddit, okay. YouTube. It's really, it's a funny bit. So hold on, let so mm. wait. Um, well, I suppose I could put some music behind it, maybe try and make that like a bit of an original thing. Uh, hey, everybody! Tony Zarrett here of, of the famous Tony Zarrett YouTube channel, uh, Instagram, and TikTok. Check out my stand-up show today in New York City. I'm from New York. 
My dad plays Terraman. Um, and hey, guess what? I'm wanted for war crimes in... Uh, the former? The former Soviet... Uh, Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Cool, how was that? That's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's not, this is almost as funny as Big Chuggis. I kind of get opinion. it. It's one of those things I'll probably be laughing tonight. I'll be like, oh. Yeah, you'll be laughing later. Yeah, I, I don't know if I, I just know it's funny. I guess I don't really get it, but I've seen comments like that. Or there's another one. Uh, I ran over a family with my car. There's another one. And these are the things that people leave as comments. And I, I don't quite get it, but I it must be funny if people are leaving it over and over as comments. Well, generally, the only thing people do comment is something funny. From what yeah, I've, I've never seen, seen a I've never seen a comment that wasn't funnier than the original content. Yeah. Another another person here with a I don't really get the comedy of this one. He says, "Look at Tony's sunglasses reflection. Yule s asterisk asterisk t bricks with an x when you see oh. it." What you're seeing is probably the video that you're watching reflected in the sunglasses it's actually and I know oh wait wait, wait hold on to, i'll dm you offline, bring it back bring it back the there go back reset the position no where you were yeah and then just down a little look down a little bit a little, little bit a little bit up up yeah no down this the there light, he is the light. yeah well you see Whoa. yourself right oh that's terrifying yeah but at, at, a, at a slight crazy. delay that's really you're on a delay to me too Probably, yeah. probably due to the sensors watching this at, with like a time delay, so they could keep me from talking about funny stuff like war crimes in Yugoslavia. Well, actually, what's crazy is when I look into your sunglasses, I actually see your reality. Yeah. Which is a different, totally different thing because in my reality, I've said what I have to say, but in yours, yeah. I haven't even said it yet, and I'm seeing me in the past, and I'm saying, "Don't say yeah. that. Don't say yeah. that." Yeah. Wow, this is trippy. This is just like my boy with the AR that can't go to McDonald's and think we were doing. Yeah, he went to Eeyore See, or something like, like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. All right, so I've 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 one one uh, one video. Do you have, you do you have the stream open? Can you see the stream? Oh no, sorry. Let me get. I actually wanted to look at it, but then we'd already started, and then. Well, you know what? Like, you weren't missing much because well, for the first twenty minutes, my screen, my camera kept going small, and I know I'm the small dude. Oh, but that just ain't it, ladies. Oh, here and we go. I said I must have subscribed to your thing, the Tony Zared interview. Okay, I got it right here. Yeah. Okay. Let me put... now, now let's let's. Oh, have... I have. Okay, now it's really weird because now I'm seeing a delay of the delay. Oh. Oh, I'm seeing it. Well, I can't really read the comments very well because I have my sunglasses on. It's almost well, you would impossible you would to... totally break the internet <laughs> if you yeah, were to do it. Okay. If you were to now do I've, a close up. Now I've moved up. it down so I can read the comments. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm you gonna don't want to see that. Oh, we you got don't want to see what going. they're saying. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. This is really throwing me off. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, it's, I'm, I, I'm sorry that you had to see that, all the types of stuff that's written in there. 09XD, yeah, okay. me laughing. Someone drew a picture of themselves laughing. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, now you see John I, Griffin. Now, why do you let it say John Griffin? Is that... Is that a stage name? No, uh, actually, I have that or blocked. Should I, not have I, I have. Should I? Did I blow up your spot by? Well, usually I would block. The, you know, you can block certain right. things from being said on a live stream. Oh, sorry. Usually, you know what? I I don't want people to know my actual full real name, so I I don't know how that slipped through. Me pulling up the stream while I'm on Skype made everything get really wonky. So I. Oh I, wait, I wait, it. no, go, go, go back one sec. I, I gotta show you the something. Stream. Because yeah. it's like, it just made everything look weird. Okay, I just, like, I'll, I'll like show you. It made my mouse start going slow, but I'll go back to it real quick. I'll show you one thing and then... Oh, uh... my mouse is good. Okay. Yeah, this is your, my, my mouse. Ah. Are you ready? No, I'm not. Oh, it's your my, mouse. Your mouse? My, is... I'm, I, my, You've got some sort really, of phobia or something? My mouse, really mouse? Is going, something weird happened. I don't know. I guess like my computer is... Like, I don't know. Yes, I am having a genuine. Well, if you wanted to see the character break, it's <laughs> here. It is uh, something happened when I was trying to play the stream while I was doing this. It just made everything go. Can you just sort oh, of? Okay, I'll just I'll play me. the audio. Oh. I'll play the audio yeah. and I'll see if you know what the is from the audio. And if that doesn't okay. work, then I will uh, show you a screenshot. Okay, this this is actually a more fun way of doing it. Okay. Okay, great. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. So, uh... 
What's your name? Maria. Yeah. You like that, T-Bone? Oh, well, yeah. Dude. Yeah. And uh, Maria, have That's you, have you ever my been first in a video YouTube before? video? Oh, like a family video, but. <laughs> nah, 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 this isn't exactly going to be a family video. So, what's going on there? So this was for, um, I wish I could watch this, sorry, but uh, that was for a thing called Channel 101. Um, I don't know if you could look it up, but it's a website where you can make, post videos. And um, it's pretty cool that, that such a thing exists. You can basically post, you can, well, you send them a video. This is a little, it's, it's actually worse than YouTube, because you know a great thing about YouTube is that anyone can post video, but on Channel 101, you have to send them the video and then they decide if it's good enough. Mm to go on and that was and where that uh, obviously was good enough the epic show which of course i denounce uh rick and morty was where yes, justin that, roiland the creators came there. from there but yes i as a family guy partisan i'm sure you're disgusted by the mere existence of rick and morty but yeah i have to look at the facts though i have to understand where they all came from so we can squash it out and make sure that nothing's nothing sprouts up like that again but yeah. it is uh it's it's interesting that you went there. That was back in 26 uh, 2006. Um so you've yeah. always had a penchant for yes. making comedy. I actually things. don't even know if there was YouTube back Just then. Just about it was you... one year old. Yeah, so this was like I don't even know if I was aware of it, but then you had to you had to you send them your videos. It was just people that made Rick and Morty before they did that, then they would pick it if it was good enough. And uh, if you thought and that, the one that you're showing now, that was good enough to get in. So you can only imagine <laughs> the stuff that didn't didn't make it. But uh, uh, must be uh, unbelievable. And it was a this the one you were watching was a parody of. You probably haven't seen these kind of movies, but they're these films where guys pick up girls in the street and do no, the thing we were talking about earlier. I, I, I picked them, up but, context clues. I, yeah, I pieced yeah. it this together. This was a spoof of. Yeah. But um, it's a. Uh, it's 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 like an endearing quality the fact that it's all like you've always been you've had like that there's like your certain style is in it like you are somewhat of like a dopey character who's like um like sort of aware but like i don't know it's i i wouldn't be able to describe it like perfectly but uh it, it's your style it's like your essence yeah uh and also yeah. this this channel kind of started that same way that i have a video from 2008 which is wow. a, a Family Guy shit post, um, <laughs> and I I always think about that as like almost like a mission statement. Like here's proof that I genuinely have always liked doing like this type of comedy. Um, yeah. Even though you're yeah, obviously was... the content you're making, like the subject of your content now is different. It's still yes, because I didn't know about Homestuck uh, or Dangan Rampa back then. And if you did. I would. I'm sure I would have done something. Uh, I wouldn't have been making fun of uh, adult sort of films. I would have been making the stuff I do now, spoofs of Homestuck. All right, let me see. All right, here. I'm gonna try again. Okay, pulling the stream up. Yeah. Like I said last time, it did something weird, but okay. You want to see, see the, the moment? If there's something else you want to show me, oh, I no. see this. I'm just was... not gonna look at it because it it is really weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very. The del I have a delay looking at you. And then as, and this is for the people watching, this is great content. Yeah. Hearing about the delay that I'm getting, but I have two, a delay and another delay. So it's, well, I'll, I'm just, I'm going to freak them out a tiny great. bit. Okay. So you're watching yeah. the screen, right? Yeah. Now see this, look at this. Wow. Wow. Ah, ah. Now that is something. And wait, no, no. there's more, there's more. Yeah, that's going to be at, oh no, it's going to go in. It's going again. Let's see what the comments are saying. They're probably they're probably all turned off now. They're probably scared. Yeah, they probably turned it off because I mean we've been going for almost an hour. And yeah, they're they're, they're probably like, well, this is the weirdest Tony Zard video I've ever seen. Yeah. No, I don't know. They, I, if they want to see weird, they should check out my Dangan Rampa spoof. Anyone in the chat? I can see the chat now. Everyone says no, no, Family Guy. Yeah. Anyone in the chat? Make a, can you make a poll in the chat, Family Guy versus Rick and Morty? Uh, okay. And it, we then log anyone who picks Rick and Morty and boot them. For, fortunately, I've I've tried to alienate as many people from getting uh, to being a fan of this channel as possible. So fortunately, we can actually just see the names directly on screen. I'm going to try going on the chat, but it's making, again, it's making my computer look weird. I'm, I'm also right. going to try it here. I'll just say, okay. I'll make, I'll make, I hey, we commented the same thing.
Well, it's one of the classic words in the English language. I think there's a that's a yeah. huge coincidence. What, are the, like, what are the chances that we both said that of all things? Oh yeah. well, now 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 you've gone. There's an imposter here uh, who's commenting under your name, and he says, "Big Chungus." Yeah. Now I gotta be honest. So this is this is probably bad. Again, like talking about the delay and stuff, but we're, I, we're getting. I do need to get going in a, probably in a few minutes. Okay. Well, if, we'll sorry to to do to do this, but we will uh, we will round it up to a nice one hour. How's okay. about that? Yeah, that's probably fine. Including the you know credits. Gonna, how do I save? Can I, oh, no, I shouldn't have. Anyways, it's, it's, I shouldn't be. It made my thing get weird again. Anyway, it, it, it was nice talking to you. Uh, it's, yes. It's funny that, um, you know, like you were saying that you did live streams and they're only like 10 minutes long. Yeah. Um, you've kind of like, I'm like, God, I can't wait for this to, to be over. Well. Um, so for you to do this, I mean, it's, I, it is impressive. I get very like not just say okay that's enough well Good the, for you the first the first 10 uh, this is probably the 11th time i've done it the first 10 yeah. times uh oh man so nervous before starting and then so many times when it was a total mess a chaotic mess so i understand that it it doesn't look this way when you're watching at home but but it is hard especially when you're <laughs> online playing a character uh it's tough oh, to like get this yeah my thing is like now i should not be watching this I, for whatever if i watch the stream while i do this it just it's, it's i know it's so, tempting but you got to avert your I gaze i shouldn't wa No, because it, it's not even that because it's it's causing like some weird crap like oh no i i swore but it was causing some something was happening some kind of feedback loop so thing in my ne house next time so. next time you're watching a live stream and it's and it's boring just think to yourself. Yeah, like, that will never happen. I've never seen a boring one. No, but but if that ever happens, think to yourself. Yeah. Well, at least the guy has somehow managed to not look at the stream and get that weird feedback thing. As long as he's yeah. doing that, he's got something good going for him. Yeah, I'm feeling great. But, uh, I know you're doing good. I can't believe you've only done this eleven Whoa. times. Family dish. Sorry, go on. Oh yeah, no, I was saying I can't believe you've only done this eleven times. Uh, doing great. Well, it's 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 around that, but um, yeah, I I appreciate you coming on and uh, yeah, no hey, listen, I'll, I'll see you around the internet. Yeah, to everybody watching, I mean, subscribe uh, Patreon uh, Patreon dot com slash Tony Zaret, or you can go to YouTube, subscribe to that, and uh, you don't have the money to make me say stuff on the Patreon, and then yeah, if you get there's a show tonight, if you're really if you're in New York and watching at the Coney Island. Uh, Museum, I don't know what it's called. I can't. Oh, I can't unlock my phone. I have sunglasses. Look up uh, Cody Island and my name. You'll find the show. The video moment is over. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. If you want to watch more funny moments, go to this website. Bye.